Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Friday, July 11th, 2014, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Well, if you needed any more proof that the TSA is nothing more than contrived security theater, look no more further than what's happening at the border. You know, if you want to fly into the USA, you've got to subject yourself to radiation and groping by the TSA. But if you're a terrorist and you don't mind walking, you know, you can just walk right in through the border. And then when you get here, the TSA will allow you to fly, no identification necessary. Now, this is according to the National Border Patrol Council. They say the aliens who are getting released on their own recognizance are being allowed to board and travel commercial airliners by simply showing their notice to appear forms. Now, of course, this just adds insult to injury. Not only are we releasing unknown illegal aliens onto American streets, but we are allowing them to travel commercially using paperwork that could easily be reproduced or manipulated on any home computer. It has no security features, no watermark, nothing. Now, the spokesman Garza highlights the significance of the security threats that this is posing to the American public, saying, the threat this poses from terrorists upon the American people is absolutely unacceptable. Central Americans aren't the only people crossing our border and being released. Does anyone actually think that cartels and other criminal or possible terrorist organizations are not taking advantage of the fact that we are having to leave our borders wide open while re reassigning the majority of our agents to process family units and minors? So, of course, the situation is being exploited by such threats. And his ideas echo a report from the UN that was issued in 2012. It states that irregular migrants from the Horn of Africa, which includes Eritrea, Somalia, and Ethiopia, as well as Bangladesh, Nepal, India, China, and other African and Asian states are being smuggled through Central America. So this is what we've been telling you. It's not just Central Americans. We really have no idea who's coming through. They're not having to show any identification. Here, city officials in Massachusetts are reporting that adult illegal immigrants posing as unaccompanied alien children appear to be attempting to enroll at public high schools. They say they have gray hairs, saying they're 17, and they have no documentation. Now, federal policy prohibits city officials from inquiring into any child's immigration or citizenship status and background. So clearly, this is an issue. Not only do you not know what kind of you know, potential pedophiles are there in the classroom with your children, we're not allowed to ask them for citizen citizenship status or identification, but there could also be gang recruiters in the classroom with your children. We've already reported how MS-13 gang members have been found to be at these border facilities. Of course, high school students and middle school students are very susceptible to being pulled into gangs by their peers. And there's also another group that recruits students on campus, La Raza. Now, Alex Jones has more on that. Thank you, Leanne. Folks, it is absolutely essential to not be manipulated by the globalists with this open border situation. We're all designed to be tribal. We're all designed to be racial at one level or another. And that's why the social engineers use it to control us. Of course, it's wrong to have our borders open and to have to pay for tens of millions of people to come here and be put on welfare to be part of a new political class. But it's key to understand these are desperate people from nations that are languishing under incredible tyranny. And they are only seeking a better life. And, and I really agree with Glenn Beck that we should bring them soccer balls and teddy bears and things because uh, these are upset children, many of them, uh, who are desperate and afraid. But it's also important to understand the federal government is smuggling these people in under La Raza's orders and they are exploiting and using these children to manipulate the public for blanket amnesty that will end this country as we know it. There's seven billion plus people outside this nation, most of them third world, and they will all try to come here and all try to be put on welfare if this happens, and this country will implode even faster. That's why socialists out in California have been going to town halls saying, yes, it's Cloward and Piven, we want to bankrupt America and collapse the country into the federal government. This is about ending the states, but we need to understand that the children are pawns in all of this. 
And I had first seen what Glenn Beck was doing as just a cruel stunt and, you know, just something to make himself look like a good guy. But the more I thought about it, uh, he really is right in what he's doing. And we need to treat these people like human beings. But I will assure you, Bella Melinda Gates Foundation and Warren Buffett, who are publicly funding La Raza and Mecha, which in my view is nothing more than a Hispanic Ku Klux Klan, want this for cheap labor and a voting block, they're giving them voter IDs and driver's license, to be able to vote for gun control, globalism, and more banker bailouts to the biggest recipients of it, people like Warren Buffett. So undoubtedly, this is a globalist takeover. But we cannot allow ourselves to be balkanized and hate these people. But we do have to stop this inflow because it'll only bring our country down and won't help Latin America that is imploding. The uh, federal government is actually completing the smuggling cycle by having a parent sending their, their child to the uh, U.S. border. Then it comes to, the federal government steps in, we apprehend them, we process these illegal aliens, and then we release them. Why would anybody want to hire a smuggler when the U.S. government is actually uh, doing it for free? Now, before I get to this shocking report uh, put together by Darren McBreen, just two and a half minutes long, showing some of the comments currently uh, and in the recent past by La Raza and Mecha groups. Before I get to that, I want you to understand that it is a fact that the ultra-rich are funding this movement to be part of a North American union, and that even Nancy Pelosi and General Petraeus have admitted this is about a hemisphere government and about an end of America. What comes after America? North America. Anyone who comes here sees that this is a community with a border going through it. Boldly proclaimed the coming North American decades as the title now. It's founded on recognition that if you put these three economies together, as has been the case 20 years into the North American Free Trade Act implementation, uh, you find unique uh, countries in terms of demographics. We're all Americans in this hemisphere, North and South America, and this crisis that some call it crisis, we have to view as an opportunity. The Ku Klux Klan, La Raza and Mecha, the Italian Mafia, they all have something in common. They're racially based, tribally based. This is one of the oldest systems of government. Okay, and I'm not even saying that in ancient times in history it was bad. That's all you knew was your tribal unit, an extension of your family, your larger family. And in the case of the Italian Mafia, they did not engage in the type of practices the Klan or Mecha or La Raza has. And clearly, out of the three uh, groups, the Klan has engaged in more murders, more corruption than the other two. But nevertheless, they're all part of the similar system. But we've been told the Italian Mafia is a no-no, and that the Klan is a no-no, and I've protested the uh, Klan many times myself, and I agree with that. But they have a right under the First Amendment for their speech, but not to carry it out as violence. The difference is Mecha and La Raza are funded by Miller Brewing, by Ford and Chevy. Over 300 Fortune 500 fund them to break up the country and bring in tyranny. Whenever the globalists create a mega union, an Asian union, a European union, an American union, they get rid of the national sovereignty, but then break up subgroups within it, like breaking up Iraq or Syria or Libya. This is a balkanization system of empires, and we now have a global corporate empire. So what I want to give you is the big picture here tonight of exactly why they're doing this before we show you the disgusting, hateful racism that is Metro and La Raza. I personally have been at uh, open border rallies at the Capitol where I have been threatened by members of these groups wearing t-shirts that said Plan of San Diego in Spanish, and I was approached by a Hispanic listener who said, do you know what that means? That means they want to kill you. And it made national news eight years ago when we broke this story and showed the video. And I went and looked it up, and it was a public plan to kill all whites above the age of 16. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even think the Klan has said they want to kill all blacks and Hispanics. So it is a kosher, accepted, racist group trying to force all Hispanics to join the Raza and intimidate them into their cult so they can be exploited. So that's the bottom line of what's happening here. And I wanted to uh, break that down before we went to Darren McBreen's clip. It's just a small snippet uh, of what these people are up to. And remember, 
The reason they're so dangerous is they're given taxpayer funding, 501c3. They are protected while waving Mexican flags saying all whites out. Let's go to this report compiled by Darren McBreen and then back to Leanne McAdoo in Studio B. Viva la raza. Que viva. This is Aslan, this is Mexico. They're the pilgrims on, on our land. And we claim this land is ours, it's always been ours, and we're still here. And uh, none of this talk about deporting. If anybody's going to be deported, it's going to be you. The United States is who is the immigrant here, not us. Why is it that these people, these frail, racist, white people, want to keep us out of this country? It's not because simply the color of our skin. It's not simply because they just want to exploit us. Let me tell you why. Because on this planet right now, of six billion people, at the forefront of the revolutionary movement is the raza. When you go to Venezuela. You can't stop us. There's too many of us. We're ready. We're, we're breeding by the day. Back to Europe. This is America. Look your colors. You're white. You don't belong here. We have the army. We have the infantry. We have the artillery. And we have to combine it under one organized man. So we can play an effective countermanding war against those racists that are trying to continue to discriminate and impede ourselves. It's about assuring that we increase our numbers. That we increase our numbers at every level. And let me tell you, we can't go back. You know, we're in a civil war. This is America, whites! You do white to be America! Go back to Europe! you idiot! This used to be Mexico, you know what I mean? And the people that were here before, they're, they're just not going to get up and leave. Mexico! 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 Arriba Mexico! think we have kids because we like sex? No, we're having kids ready to start this war. Believe me, I got another one on the way. and She'll be strapped up ready for you. Come get it. Come get it. Come knock on my door and see what happens. We're ready. We're ready. I say, talk me, I say. Alex Jones here to break down some exciting developments in the area of research concerning supplemental iodine. It's nothing less than phenomenal. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. And I used some of the mainline iodine supplements and they upset my stomach and I had some issues with it. Until I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group, who I was already interviewing as an expert on my radio show, and I began taking the product before he actually rolled it out. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals that are incredibly powerful that no one else has as a source for their iodine from between seven and 12,000 feet, literally drilled out of the ground. You put it on a hot plate, and it turns into the pure gas. No one else has 99.99% pure iodine. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. I was over 270 pounds. And with the iodine exercise and better diet, I have lost now more than 50 pounds total and I'm continuing to lose the weight. I have more energy, my libido, all this crap came out of my skin. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, this is trailblazing, and the best part is it helps fund Infowars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of survival shield